happening here, buddy? That's good, that's good, that's good. Hope you guys are doing well today. Beautiful Wednesday, beautiful live stream today. We're back. Well, what's good, what's good? Can you guys hear me? Sound check. Can you guys hear me? Am I loud and clear? I think, I think you can hear me. From my side, it shows that you guys can hear me. Right, hope everybody's doing well today, man. Hope everybody's doing well today. And you guys are telling safe. Someone says, good afternoon. What's up, man? What's up? Somebody says, how was CPI yesterday? I didn't trade CPI. I didn't trade CPI. For every reason, I didn't trade CPI. All right? I was so busy yesterday. Um, yeah, just hunting other businesses. Right, so I couldn't trade CPI for that reason. Somebody says, yes, we can hear you. Beautiful, amazing stuff. Somebody says, afternoon. What's up, Isaac? Hope you're doing well today. All right. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope everybody's doing well today, man. Um, you ain't wearing the Man City jersey today. <laughs> you took it so serious, but I'm going to wear it soon. Don't worry about that. I'm just chilling today. You know. I'm just chilling today. I'm wearing a beautiful shirt saying, what, money forever? I bought the shirt some time back. You guys can see that? It's showing money forever. <laughs> you know, so yeah. Hopefully you guys are doing well today. We're back to another beautiful live stream. Um, you know, let's try and, you know, smash a few, a few assets. Let's see what we can discuss today. Let's keep up with the comments. Let's keep up with the questions. Let's keep up with, you know, the interaction, which is amazing. That's what brings me here all the time. All right if you guys don't talk i don't talk if you guys don't move i don't move right so let's keep up with the interaction let's keep up with the questions and all that in case anybody's asking what broker do you use i had to put this here right just in case anybody's asking how to put this first because i know by the end of this before even the end of this live stream someone's going to be asking what broker do you use so i use fx pro nothing else all right no any other broker i don't use anything else right so i use fx pro and i recommend you go open um you know, there's a standard account that you can open. Yeah, when you like click register and stuff like that. You know, like different accounts. Just make sure you open a standard account. I recommend that. Yeah, you know, find your country here, whatever that kind of thing. All right, so let's let's go to gold. All right, let's see what's happening on gold today. This is gold. Somebody says good afternoon. Oh, what's up, man? What's up? Glad to have you here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I know you're always looking forward to these live streams, right? Today I didn't even feel like doing this. You know, I even I even uh, almost missed hosting this live stream because, you know, I was just chilling here today. You know, I, ha I had a busy day yesterday, man. I was so you know so tired and just you know, taking in the you know the, the day and stuff like that. So yeah, there's PPI at 1430. I know about that, Danji. I'm I'm one trader who you never tell something and he doesn't know <laughs> right so i know about whatever ppi i know whatever cpi i know whatever dpi whatever is that all right so i'm one trader that you can't remind oh there's this today i already know thanks for that anyway so this is locked in beautiful amazing stuff yeah let's get let, let's get it started so i think we're on gold 30 minutes time from here how is the afternoon going man i'm just chilling i'm just home and just chilling today i'm not going anyway i'm just home um, I, I, I did my workout today in the morning. I should be doing the workout later today. Can you guys see that we're, we, you know, we're getting better, we're getting fit? Yeah. But I'm just home, just chilling, man. Just, just home and just having my time. Here. Yeah, so let's look at gold here. Uh, what does gold have? Let's look at like uh, maybe a four hour time frame, first and foremost. So on the four hour time frame, gold has been ranging long term. Right? You guys can see that, right? It's been ranging long term. All right. But we can still trade because, you know, we are intraday traders and all that. So we we can still trade so let's look at let, let's look at this level here let's look at this as our level of resistance all right let's also look at these as our level of support here all right because price came down and formed support here all right the close of this candle here this bullish candle then that high form support all right and then currently we can also say um okay this has not yet been formed as uh you know resistance so we can't really mark out that let's go like on a one hour time frame Somebody says, you're the only trader doing this in this country. Yeah, I'm the only one and I keep doing it for you. All right. Can you just the music? Oh, okay, 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 cool. Okay, let's reduce the music. Okay, I hope that's fine, right? I, I have reduced the music and I hope that's fine. We have an, am an another amazing live video. Yeah, 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 let's go, let's go. Yeah, somebody says I'm the only one doing this. I don't take pride in that, but yeah, I'm the only one. <laughs> I keep giving, giving you guys this value every week, right? 
yeah so we have this level here modified to this level as well here and yeah I'll, I'll, I'll be okay going to a 30 minutes time frame all right 30 minutes time frame we have this as our main resistance and these as our main support and then we have minor levels here all right so we can say we have a minor level of support here that if broken price has a probability of heading downside right you guys can see that okay this level here and then we can say okay let's try like um you know like scale out you know every time you're analyzing you want to make sure that your focus is around you know things happening close to the current market price okay so forget about anything that's happened two years ago five years ago or whatever forget about that all right yeah the, the SMC traders, they'll tell you that's how we trade. <laughs> Don't come up on me like that. All right. Don't come up on me like, oh, SMC, this is how we trade. We traded the banks. Oh, <laughs> uh, there's really guys who trade with banks, right? Okay. Oh, amazing stuff. We like to hear that. There's really people who trade like banks. <laughs> okay, cool. All right, so we can say we have these other resistance level here. Okay, let me just try and use this here. This is our minor resistance. If broken price continues going upside, right? I feel like we have a bigger advantage upside, like a more peep range from here to there. Roughly, we have about 140 points upside if markets were, were to break that high. And then if markets were to break this low, I feel like we have roughly about like um, 53 points, which is not really crazy. Right, so I feel like the high probability setup should be upside because of the peep range. All right, I always check for that. But if price was to break, I think I'll be okay with taking buys there. All right, somebody says we have PPI. I don't trade PPI, guys. <laughs> There's nothing crazy that goes on in PPI. All right, my students know that. They understand we only trade CPI. You know, out of all inflation reports, we have PPI, we have retail sales, we have, you know, CPI. We only trade CPI. You know why? The only important participant in every economy is a consumer not the producer not the retailer all right the, the economy does not move if, if consumers are not doing anything that's why they keep uh, you know indicating the performance of jobs you know where are the jobs at right now and all that kind of thing right so they focus on inflation because they want to understand the you know the behavior of consumers towards you know overall performance of the economy so ideally i don't really trade cpi whatever that kind of thing right but if, if, if we cut an opportunity here we're on good let's take it all right yeah i know we have cpi coming up in, in like 10 minutes right all right i mean ppi rather not cpi ppi all right this is producer price index all right which i merely don't trade myself all right and you're gonna see why probably when it, when it happens right yeah there could be a movement whatever that kind of thing it's rare when we have a big movements when we have big movements in relation to you know PPI rather, not CPI. Somebody says you are a trained setter. Yeah, man. Yeah, we always say trains. Shortly after this, somebody's gonna be doing this soon. <laughs> Was waiting for this, kindly turn down the music. I think I did. Is it okay now, man? Is the music down now? Is it fine? Can we go on this time around? You know, I enjoy this music, so just pardon me. <laughs> and I hope you enjoy it too. Is it turned down now? The insight you gave on support resistance has changed my trading kindly. Share some more insight on which load size can be used on the account size. I can't really share what uh, account size and load size and all. It's going to be stressful, right? It's, anybody can find it in any account size. Right. End of the day, you just need to understand that don't risk more than two percent of your account every single day you're trading. All right. On any trade setup, don't risk more than two percent. Right. Risk two percent, and consider your margin levels. Consider your equity. All right. Yeah. So be mindful. Of that. Yeah. If price breaks above here, we go up. If price breaks breaks below here, we go down. Right, that's all we're looking for here on gold that's literally all we're looking for i don't care okay we have a trend line we have what i don't look i don't look at that right like trend line traders will be like okay we have um you know we have a trend line like this okay yeah we have a trend line like that and if price goes up maybe it's gonna hit the trend line whatever i don't do that stuff man i don't do that stuff all right somebody says what's your trading style like this is my trading style man you can see it here Afternoon, how is everything? Everything is good. I hope everything is good by the side too. All right, so we wait for a break on either side, right? Either here or either there, then we probably would see what price does. All right, most likely if price was to break here, right? I would look for potential buys all the way to somewhere here because we don't really have like a range on the left side, right? Price actually moved all the way with so much volume. I would say if you were to look at the candles that we are forming, right? If you look at this candle here, firstly price hit the high there formed resistance 
then uh, this candle kind of closed bearish, you know, forming, uh, you know, you know, showing that we had more volume of sellers and this candle also came down more volume of sellers. Same thing with this. Then when we had this candle here, right, price literally showed us that we had this as our strong level of support. All right. And then currently markets are trying to go upside. Right. Maybe PPI, if PPI, you know, comes out, you know, let's say it comes out, let's say um, you know, if it comes out positive. Right. Obviously, price might like want to push up reject and come down but if it comes out negative maybe price might like try to you know reject and then push all the way up i would want to see you know a ppi that's actually less than a, than, than 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 what they're actually forecasting All right let's look at what, what, what they're looking at today what they're looking at um okay we have an interesting day man we also have fomc later on today i think i'll be more comfortable trading fomc later today than anything else because i know what's going to be happening around that time Okay, so check here, we have PPI, core PPI, and they're expecting that we have a maintained core PPI, and they're expecting that we have a reduced PPI. So if they, if it if it is reduced, all right, I expect gold to go up, all right, not really significantly like crazy and stuff, not really, because, you know, PPI doesn't really have like that much of liquidity and, you know, volume and, you know, this momentum, it doesn't really have that, right, CPI has that. Right. I, I feel like CPI has the balls to move the market. PPI does not have that because the, 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 the economy focuses on consumers and not producers. How do you determine your TP? I look at, I look at the next level of support or resistance. Simply that. This is the juice, guys. This is uh, nothing crazy. It's just a juice, all right? <laughs> In case anybody's wondering. This is a juice, all right? This is mere juice, all right? Yeah, so that's what we're looking at for PPI. Um, end of the day, we have FOMC, which is coming up around hour and eight. All right, and that that for me will be my focus. All right, because I want to see exactly what the Fed does today. Of course, they'll be talking about inflation, and I think that the most important thing about today is obviously the the press conference, which is at half past eight. All right, where they're gonna be? You know, I'm so sure their focus will be around inflation. Okay, because inflation is slowly you know, slowing down. If you guys have noticed, CPI came out weak yesterday, which is good for the economy, right? So they're going to be talking about that. And they also will be talking about jobs, right? Because if you notice, um, last week, Friday, jobs were increased. You saw NFP came out positive and all that kind of thing, right? So now jobs are doing well, right? Inflation is reducing. The economy is doing so well. So most likely today's fate might just be maintained. The rates might be maintained. If they hike, it probably will be, you know, not really so significant, right? But I don't really expect so much. I don't expect a hike today. I'm really expecting not, not, nothing, nothing about 5.25, all right? If they print 5.25, that then that that is maintained, which is okay still, right? But if they can print like okay five five percent, meaning they've reduced by 25 basis points, which is okay too, all right? So obviously the focus will be the press conference. I'm gonna be looking out for what they actually talk about during the press conference. I'm getting better day by day, uh, brilliant stuff. You could even get more better if you were part of my bootcamp classes and just manage it and all that kind of thing. <laughs> all right? Because my students are killing it. They understand this stuff like crazy. All right? They, they, they are really killing it. Right now, I was, I, when I woke up today, I was like, okay, let me check on the Discord. And I'm seeing guys already, you know, just making good, good money and just, you know, putting out good markups, which, which, which is a good thing. All right? Yeah, so that's what's up with FOMC. I hope you guys got that, right? So we have like four minutes to your, is it five minutes? Four, four minutes, 30 seconds to your PPI. All right, let's see how markets react to that. Um, yeah, so a positive, C, a positive PPI, like I mentioned, should push gold up. A negative or weak PPI should push gold down, right? And then the down, the down part about that, maybe it might just be like a week here. Maybe markets might, you know, try like leave a candle outside and then come and close back in and then markets go up later on because we have FOMC. And bear in mind, the economy right now is doing so well for the United States, right? Jobs being added, inflation is, you know, is being kept relatively low, which is, which is good, right? That's, that's all they want. They just keep on reducing and reducing, which is good, right? You saw rates. Right, the rates today, you're gonna see what's gonna happen. Last time they, they didn't really hike by so much. They only hiked by 25 basis points. And they've been slowing down from you know from, from 50 basis points to now 25 basis points. So yeah, 
how much is the bootcamp right now we're not doing any any bootcamp so i'll let you guys know if you have any bootcamp the, the recent bootcamp we did last week was going for 1006 the next bootcamp um, i will have obviously prices will be hiked just like the fade always hikes <laughs> all right yeah anyway this is what's up with gold um nas 100 let's see what's going on here okay i have to refresh this this stuff here um we have euro usd here too which is already popping out a bullish candle wow okay crazy let's look at the four hour time frame on euro usd all right there was a good buy buy setup today early today morning um i just missed it because i wasn't really active uh, you know you know why i haven't been active as such right i haven't been active uh because of this let me show you guys something really interesting all right where is my crop because this is where my my okay look at this i don't see a reason why i should trade when i have a 50k withdrawal approved all right i don't see a reason why i should be forcing trades i'm just chilling right 50k here approved withdrawal i'm just chilling i'm just chilling honestly i'm just chilling last week I, I withdrew 50 grand this week already this is like what this is like wednesday i've already withdrawn like 50 grand i'm just chilling right and 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 and, and, and when i when i make money and i have withdrawn i don't see reason of forcing trades honestly like i won't be a type who's gonna be like trying so hard to trade everything that's happening you see that's why you guys blow up accounts right you are trying so and by the way this is a this is not a, this is not a screenshot right this is a this is the site this is the, you can see there this is you know yahoo in case you guys be like oh it's a screenshot now we don't do that yet All right this withdrawal got approved today you can see 14 today around 12 yeah 12 today and it's a 50k withdrawal right i don't see a reason why i should be forcing trades like trading everything and anything all right so i'm just chilling because of that honestly i'm just chilling because of that all right you see when you make money sometimes you don't see a reason why you should just be forcing everything because your mindset is different the more money you make the more your mindset it becomes a whole lot better all right and that's why consistent traders are always will always be consistent because their mindset is always sharpened they're always getting better you know oh, come on it's, it's just like that okay we have a um, enough of, of, of the ranting there we have a, a, a resistance level here man where's this stuff oh did i lose my chart i need to refresh here man oh crazy okay let's look at gold I think gold is, is okay okay gold is trying to you know do his thing um i think roughly like 40 seconds before ppi let's see what happens all right i want to show you guys why i don't really trade this ppi stuff right you, you, you're gonna see i didn't trade cpi yesterday for so many reasons because i was just busy if i was gonna trade that i was gonna catch it probably and get some profit but if you notice we had a um, we had markets go go down the markets went up the markets came down the markets now literally went down all right so hope i didn't miss too much i don't know you out i think mr ppi is weak today i think it should be what i just spoke about right why is this why is this not the same penny oh you see that you see that ppi is you know less than expected i think i spoke about that all right let's see the core ppi it should be the same situation why is it saying penny what the hell is this Right. but i'm sure it's the same thing right i'm so sure it's the same thing okay beautiful all right beautiful so you see that 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 uh rejection downside was literally just a, sh a shoot down the markets are pressing upside so i think i spoke about high probability setups being upside so for me here i wouldn't take a trade all right if you are the one of those guys who's like okay i wanna i wanna take a trade yeah all the best i wouldn't take a trade here pretty much because i would wait for this candle to close first all right I would honestly be waiting for this kind of the close. I don't gamble. I don't do guesswork. I don't. I, I don't force trades. So honestly, I'll just be waiting for that kind of the close, right? And maybe when that kind of closes above, then I could probably take a trade. Okay, you see, I think we spoke about this, right? You guys, you guys hate me. I, I think we spoke about this. Have you entered? Entered what? <laughs> entered what? What are we entering, man? What are we entering? I haven't entered anything. Someone says, um, how are you doing today, man? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Doing the best that I can. Yeah, PPI printed negative. PPI printed less than, uh, you know, less than focus, which is okay, which is awesome. You stop trading synthetics. 
yeah, I'm just, I, I didn't stop trading statistics. I'm just on a break because there's nothing really happening in relation with my trading style there. You see, you need to understand seasons or on certain assets, right? There are certain assets that are non-seasonal, like gold, like Nasdaq, like, you know, like, um, like Euro USD. They're non-seasonal. You can trade them at all times, right? You can trade them in and out of season because there's always going to be something that's, uh, you know, pushing them either upside or downside. Now, if you talk of synthetics, right? Synthetics are seasonal. Th those are like, you know, they're, they're not really like real assets. They are fake assets. They mimic, um, you know, they mimic um, real assets, but they're actually not, not really real assets, All right? So they are like seasonal because of volumes and participation there. You know, there, there, there are times when you have more people on those, on those assets. Then there are also times when there are less people. I like to trade those assets when there are more people. All right, like, okay, I know this particular period of time, all right, we have a high participation on these assets and I'm going to jump in. Right, but even right now you can trade, but I, I'm just not trading because, you know, it doesn't really, it's not really in line with my trading style right now. So I'm just chilling, you know, just chilling and all that. All right. Oh, you see that this candle there. All right. So we're still within range. Okay. So right now we're looking at a break above here for gold. Okay. We're looking at a break above here. Any close above there, man, we take the, we, we take a trade. Okay, I'm gonna fund some good money and then we're gonna take a good a good trade. That obviously should be during New York session. Right now, markets are just trying to play around. I'm so sure this candle here probably should close within this range. Okay, I'm so sure that candle should close within, within that range. Okay, what's this thing saying here? Um, Okay, so yeah, I'm thinking this candle here, okay, should close within this range. All right, until this candle breaks, maybe close above there, right? Then we can look for buy trade and then push up the markets like that. All right, so yeah, let's try and go back to Euro USD. Okay, I think we were talking about that earlier. Um, Euro USD. Yeah, okay, this thing hasn't refreshed yet. What the hell is happening? Mm. Okay, somebody say, how are you doing? I'm doing well, man. I'm just doing fine, doing the best that I can, just home and just doing the work that has to be done here. You know, yeah. Okay, your USD here. We spotted a level of support and a level of resistance there based off the four hour time frame. Then now we can go to a one hour time frame. All right, keep up the comments, guys. Keep up the comments, ask your questions. That's what drives me when I'm here, right? So ask, 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 all right? Bring it on, bring it on. So we have a level here, which is our level of resistance here. And then we have a level of support down there. So we can say, okay, fine. Let's go down to a 30 minutes time frame. All right. Yeah, that cannot close above there. This looks like potential buys for Euro USD. All right. And potential buys here could be all the way. Let's try and look at maybe like four time frame. Um, potential buys to probably where? Okay, the fact that we have this level here, okay, if you look also, the fact that we have this level here, um, I might not really consider this as a, as a long-term trade setup, right? Maybe if we could get to here, that's if we break that level that we just, we are on right now. All right, so maybe you can say, okay, 30 minutes time frame. Um, okay, markets closing here meant that you could take a buy. If you took the buy based off the close of this candle, you probably should be like in like 20 point move. Uh, 20 point profit and something like that uh, yeah i think so this should be like yeah roughly that and then you could have said your stop loss somewhere down here you could be in profits but if this cannot close above this level two right you see this level here you could still look out for you know potential you know potential longs here all right probably you could say okay maybe i might say okay my entry is somewhere around if this cannot close above there that's that's that, that that's what i mean Right, maybe your entry right right somewhere there, then you look out for surplus maybe slightly below there. All right, that's if that candle close, closes above that area, right? And you, you also want to observe what's happening on, on the M15 time frame. All right, okay, there was, um, you know, uh, a continuation of bullish um, candles. You guys can see the bullish candles here. You see that? You see this? You see that? So that means that volume initially kicked in when this candle closed. All right, so you could have entered even right there, and markets are actually moving upside. But my main interest would be on the M30 time frame, right? I'd want to see how it is that this cannot close. But like I mentioned earlier, right? We initially missed the initial move from here, right? Even after we missed from there, there was this level of resistance here that markets created somewhere here. Today we are on 51 views. Oh, beautiful, amazing stuff. Like I told you, one day we're gonna be sitting at maybe let's say like a thousand views. 
and everybody's gonna remember oh I remember the time that this YouTube stream started we were just like 50 of us on the stream all right that time is coming soon I know facts right anything I start always grows to a certain level I don't care if it's gonna take years it's gonna take months all right it's definitely gonna grow right the initial buy right the initial buy was after this candle close above that level of resistance right that was I think the best buy if you miss the initial buy earlier around this area here somebody says how come your charts look different meanwhile you also use trading view what the, what the hell do you mean man how come my charts look different meanwhile use trading view they don't look any different do you trade SMC, ICT, or price action? I don't trade any of those. I, I trade I trade price action. <laughs> I don't recommend SMC, ICT, whatever that kind of... I don't recommend that stuff. It doesn't work. That's my opinion. I don't care what you say about that. I don't recommend that stuff. It doesn't work. That's my opinion, right? If it works for you, it works for you. Right? I tried it. I tried ICT. I tried SMC, smart money concept. That stuff is complicated for nothing. Not really complicated. It's, it's okay. You know, anybody can name that stuff and all that. But... You know it's not consistent right there's so much of error in the style okay so i don't recommend that yeah anyway we can say okay the best buy was when markets were here okay break above here we could have said okay buy here to probably this level and we were going to say okay our stop loss right below this candle right so after having bought their small drawdown you know, markets looking like they want to hit your stop loss, but you know your stop loss is somewhere here. Then markets go up, retrace, and boom, now you are happy. All right. So having to enter here uh, would be impulsive trading, but impulsive trading mostly is for you know the strong heart. Okay, because like we are saying, this market has a likelihood of going all the way up there, right? That's what we're saying. It's 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 got a high probability of going all the way up there. So if you are if you are to enter somewhere here, you probably would want to wait for markets to create support. All right like right now they're high maybe you wait like okay maybe the next candle opens and then it comes and closes like maybe somewhere here uh maybe like this is the bearish candle let's say okay bearish candle it closes like somewhere here our bearish candle there okay maybe if that candle closed like that and then we'd say okay markets have you know formed down a, a, a bearish candle and then maybe we wait and say okay once a bullish candle comes and opens and then maybe it closes like something like events like something like this okay we say okay this is our bullish candle here obviously with maybe a rejection downside all right obviously with like a rejection down here all right then if this was to happen probably i'll look at this as a level of support myself then take a buy somewhere here right now i wouldn't really want to take a buy all right this is how best i can filter out this trade all right right now i don't want to take that buy because it's pretty much already high if i also take the buy maybe it'll be just going to be based off like impulse trading but at the same time, that'll be a little bit risky because markets have already moved, you know, from the initial level that markets were at, the low point here to our, our, our apparently up there. Of course, they're broken off the range. If you notice, they're broken off the range, but uh, I can't enter the trade right now. I just can't. All right. So the best was here. Okay. Like I say, the best was here. Okay. The best was here. The entry there. Oh, no, not this stuff. This is a wrong thing. Okay, entry here, right? Then you say, okay, my TP is somewhere around there. Okay, you're, you're obviously looking at markets breaking all those current levels of resistance. All right, so we can say something like that. Okay, but after markets hit this level with this candle, you are going to close. Here, you're going to close partial profits, right? Because markets have a likelihood of retracing here and maybe might be trying to form support and then continue going upside. Yeah, somebody says, um, can you just modify your charts? Um, yeah, it's easy. Christian, it's easy. Just modify your charts. It's very easy. First time I'm telling this live stream, amazing stuff. Go watch the other, the other ones, Alfred. All right, go watch the other ones. And it's always good to have new guys on the live streams, right? It's always beautiful. It's always amazing to have you guys. All right, so yeah. So right now I, I'm not trading Euro USD. Okay, my focus might be probably on gold because I'm trying to see what happens here. Okay, what what, what the hell is what what the hell, what the hell am I? Do I keep getting here, man? Like my charts keep on doing this thing. All right, I think I have them open on a different browser on, on a different uh, you know browsing platform. So 
maybe because of that. So I have to switch this up again. Okay, beautiful. When is the next boot camp? I don't know. I'll let you guys know if we have any. I don't know right now. Oh, gold. Wow, man. Wow, beautiful. Gold is literally just breaking off this, this level. All right. You know, so some of you guys will be like, oh, I have just missed this move. No, you haven't. All right. You're waiting to see if this current candle would close above this level. If it does, obviously markets might want to come down, form support, then you take it off. It's as simple as that. Right? This is amazing. Good, good move. Amazing move. And I think I mentioned that the high probability was for this, for this asset to actually push up and down. That already, that, that already was like a hint, right? Because when we're on these live streams, we're trying to filter out what's high probability, what's not high probability, right? So I think I mentioned when we started like, okay, look, high probability is for this actual asset to push up than down. I explained based off uh, PPI and, you know, the outcomes, whatever, that kind of thing. And then obviously the, the best probability setup was going to be, you know, having to wait for a break here. If you had put like, let's say buy stops here, you should be like off over in profits. Like maybe, uh, I, I like to do that sometimes. Uh, like, okay, maybe a buy stop here. Maybe I'll be up like, okay, 35 points, which is okay. Right. If you put a buy stop here, then probably say, okay, stop loss starts below there. You'll be up like maybe 40 points now, which is amazing. In your opinion, uh, experience, what what do traders lose um, psychology-wise and how do we get better? You get better by being on the markets, man. You just experience the markets. Open a live account, trade a live account every single time you're trading and you get better. Right? We draw some money like, how, like what I did today. Uh, not really today. I, I think I would draw this money uh, yesterday. Because I made, I made 50k the other day, you guys saw on a single trade. Alright, so how do we draw the 50 grand? Yeah, I just thought, let me draw this 50 grand here. And you can see, uh, your transaction was approved, right? So, and it's a bank, it's a bank wire transfer, and yeah, 50 grand approved. So I should get this money in my bank anytime soon. Yeah. Somebody says, um... Okay, stop commenting more than more than three times at a go, man. Elvin, stop it, right? Just stop it. I'm gonna save this like a maybe slow mode, all right? Just so you don't have that. Just give chance to other guys to also comment in that, you know? Yeah. Anyway, let's go back here. Wow, God is pushing, which is amazing. Brilliant stuff, right? USD is doing the same thing. Um, do we have anything going on with Nasdaq? I think we should. Oh, this is your USD. Let's switch it up. Um, so if you go here, let's go, guys. Ask your questions. Ask your questions. Ah, oh, Nasdaq doesn't really have so much volume today. Only gold and euro USD have volume today. Based off the actual. Move. All right. So we can say, okay, on Nasdaq, what do we have? We have. Um, we have a level of support formed here. We have a level of support formed here. All right. And then on the minor side, on the minor side, we have a level of existence that's forming here. That's on the minor side. But this is not confirmed on a, on a four hour time frame. Maybe if you go like one hour time frame, one hour time frame, you realize that this level is actually here. It's been rejected by this current candle. And then we can say, okay, now this is somewhere here. Okay. You know one thing about gold? Gold always has a major move around half past two. Every single day, there's always like a major move. Okay, I'm not trying to say like that's a pattern, but it happens most of the time, according to what I've noticed. Any tips on Nasdaq? These are the tips right here, man. Go watch the recent live streams and you get, you get more tips. <laughs> Alright. Elvin and Chick. <laughs> oh man, you guys are fighting in the comments. Oh yeah, relax, don't fight. <laughs> you know, we're here to have a good time. <clears throat> I remember that cartoon, man, was, was fun. I watched it also when I was young. Was, I, think, I, think, I think today's kids don't have fun with today's cartoons. Because it's like, there's like these stupid cartoons called, um, called Coco, is it Coco Melon, right? My son watches a, a lot of those, you know, and I have learned, uh, you know, most of the songs in those, you know, stupid cartoons. No, they're not really having fun because you know those cartoons are like you know just dummies and dummies. 
Do you trade patterns or trend lines? I don't do anything like that. Literally, you can see I'm only trading this stuff here. How do you determine your TP? I mentioned, right? I answered your question, Matthews. I said next level of support or next level of resistance. It's simple on that, right? Yeah, so Nasdaq here, we're looking for a break above here, a break below here, a break below here to obviously potentially 14,827, a break above here to probably the next psychology level, which should be 15,000, right? And I'm thinking we should hit 15,000 today. Yeah, I'm thinking so. FOMC maybe. But if we're slowing down, maybe we might, we might just, you know, reject 15,000 and come down. You know, maybe. Gold is skyrocketing. Yeah. Gold, that's why I love gold, man. It's it's always doing something around half past two. And I recommend you take a look at gold every day around half past two. You realize that there is always something going on around half past two. Every freaky day. Somebody says, um, how are you doing today? Man, I'm doing well. I'm doing well. You know, you keep asking. I'm doing fine. I'm doing fine. Right. yeah this is what's up with gold this is what's up with euro usd oh okay we're getting on breaking charts there okay gold there and this is what's up with um nas 100 nas 100 looks like there was a level here you know a small level of you know support here right we'll have to do this here I and mean, then just do that like that so i think we had a, le a small level of support here right that seemingly looks like it's been broken that's if you look at a 15 minute time frame. All right, there should be a candle closing below there. Yeah, it looks like. But yeah, much of this candle is closing below there. It's got a rejection on both sides, but more, more of a rejection upside. So I'm thinking because of this, market should go down. Go down to this level first. Then get stuck around there as we wait for FOMC. All right? So I'm thinking, okay, fine. Because of this, market should, okay, tuck down, maybe to here, then probably, you know, I don't know. I just think so. You know, but because of this, market should tank down. Maybe find support anywhere down here before they can actually push upside. And it will all be dependent on today's FOMC. Don't forget we have FOMC today. Right, don't forget. Yeah, gold is like that girlfriend that is well behaved. Somebody says that. Yeah, man. <laughs> well behaved. Well behaved. That's why I trade gold most of the time. Right, that's why I trade gold most of the time. All right. The other day on a live stream, um, you know, one of my friends was in the live stream here. He's a good friend. He was in the live stream. And check this out. I want to show you guys something. Check this out. Bang, 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 bang. Look at this. This is literally what happened to most of you guys yesterday during CPI. Oh, crazy. Did you see? Did you guys see that? Look at that. Oh, no. What the hell is this guy doing in the gym? Like, somebody save this guy. Oh, no. Look at that. Oh, shit. Oh, no. This is crazy. And then this guy here, this other guy in the back, looks belt up. And he's so lucky the guy came for him to help him out. This is how life is, right? Sometimes you're down and somebody else has to come help you out. <laughs> somebody has to come and help you. It could be in trading, right? This is how life is. You could be down like this guy. Okay, he thinks he knows what to do. And then, you know, he thinks he knows how to do this thing. And then, oh, he doesn't know how to do it. He blows off his account. Then he needs the guy in the back, okay, to stand up and then come all the way to him and then just help him get up. That's how life is. You can't rely on yourself. You need somebody to come and help you from your situation to save you from where you are, right? Until you go, until you get, until you get that, probably you'll be, you'll be a better person. Okay, somebody said, "I think we're laughing." Oh, it's crazy. Yeah, it's pretty much what, what we're looking at today, man. On the charts, um, God knows how to humble traders, in my opinion. Yeah, if you don't know how to trade gold, yeah, it's gonna humble you. But if you know how to trade it, definitely it's gonna be like a, you know, that 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 that, that amazing person to you. Vega is really suffering here. Yeah. I don't know if he's on live stream. I don't even think so. He's probably busy or something. Like that. I saw this on your IG status. I laughed my lungs out. Yeah, you could, man. Like, who the hell does that in the gym? Like you're wasting time. 
We just go there and be like, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. What's the best time frame to trade uh, all time frames? Okay. It depends with your trading style. What's the best time to trade Nasdaq uh, anytime is good? I recommend New York Station, which is anytime half, uh, after, after three. Okay, ask your questions, guys. We have uh, about like nine minutes for me to close, close down this live stream today. All right, nothing really crazy going on today. I think I, I, think I did explain on FOMC uh, when we started. I also did explain on uh, PPI. I explained on this move also, and I explained on what we're expecting more to come based off this. So I think you guys should be good. Right now, you see what a dummy would do, all right? What most dummies would do is this, right? They know that price is already high, okay? Just because I said we, we have to wait for a candle to close above this level, right? You might want to wait for, you know, price to probably slow down, form support anywhere down, then you take the buy and go up with the markets, right? Don't be a dummy. Just be realistic. Just, you know, be sensible for once, all right? Don't be a dummy. Yeah, wait for price, okay, to close above the level. Then wait for the next candle to probably, you know, come and close anywhere. Then, you know, a bullish candle, then now you can take the buy. Simple as that. Because if you take if you take a buy just based off this candle, right, you know where your stoppers is going to be? Your stoppers would be somewhere below here. Because always when you're taking a buy, we look at the recent low of the recent candle. All right? So, yeah. Somebody says there's success is there's success is no coincidence. Yeah, there's no coincidence of success, man. I say I say that on the live on, on yesterday's um, you know I just said I say that there's no coincidence of success. You know, you need to work yourself to a certain level. You need to wake up. Today I didn't feel like doing anything. Today I just felt like you know be just lazing around, right? If I almost missed this live stream today because I think we started off a bit late today. I think like uh, late by eight minutes, right? Which is not really late as such. Not as late as some of you guys go to your jobs, right? <laughs> right? But at the same time, I didn't feel like doing so much today. But I just felt like, you know, just lazing around and just, you know, just, you know, you know, just playing games and just being, you know, just doing dummy things and all that. But, you know, you have to do work. You have to work out something, right? And I always say this, right? Your life is a reflection of your decisions. You know, compilation of your decisions is what you are today, right? From the time you wake up, right, to the time you go to bed, all the decisions made is who you are and that's what you become, all right? So don't be like, oh, okay, I'm, I'm expecting myself to be better by end of the year, but doing nothing about your situation. Oh, okay. Hey. All right. Somebody says, haven't seen you trade synthetics. I think I answered that, man. Just go and use. I think I answered that. CPI wiped some people out yesterday, yeah, because people want to trade every single time, right? They think, oh, because markets are moving, maybe I'm missing out. Let me, ah, uh, that's why you guys keep blowing accounts, right? Because you want to trade every single time. I keep saying that. Don't trade every single time, right? Wait for good setups. If stuff aligns according to how you trade, then take it. If it doesn't, just, just let markets play out. Let markets do their thing. So it says gold is more fundamental than technical. Nobody say that. Infinity Forex Trader, you have the wrong concepts, man, and you don't, I don't even think you're consistent. Gold is not more fundamental than technical. Gold, go, you can trade gold with your technical. <laughs> right? So nobody said it's more fundamental than technical. Yeah, fundamentals apply to all your financial assets. They apply to, you know, indices, they apply to currencies, they apply to metals. But I wouldn't say it's more fundamental than, nah, you know, it's nothing like that. You can trade this stuff with technicals only and be profitable. I have friends who trade technicals only. They are profitable. Right, yeah. Somebody says, uh, decline dumbbell press. <laughs> I think you're trying to do something like that, but, you know, things just, you know, just got to the worst. I hope he doesn't see this live stream, man. He's going to be banging my phone like crazy. But anyway, we're making him famous, right? I'm sure by the end of the day, his account is going to be having more followers. <laughs> Somebody says, um... How exactly do you become a trader? You become a trader just, just, just like just by being a trader. You just get into trading, learn concepts, and just ride, ride with that. All right. Yeah. Okay. Let's look at let's look at what's happening with Nasdaq. Uh, what's going on with Nasdaq? Do we have anything happening there? Okay. Okay. You see what I said? Because I understand how candles behave, right? I spoke about this, even if it's a short-term sell, but I, ma I managed to tell you guys that, look, markets will start dropping and they're already dropping like roughly how many points? This should be like maybe 15, 20 points, right? Yeah, like, you know, maybe like, yeah, 11 points, all right? 
11 points times a standard load size, uh, that's like a thousand one. All right, that's if you're scouting. You could make some good money just based off that. All right, yeah, we still have room for markets to move downside, but for me, I wouldn't take this trade. I'm not trying to say don't don't do the same, right? It depends with what you're looking out for. All right, I'll, I'll be waiting for FOMC today. I'm only waiting for FOMC. Honestly, I'm just waiting for that. Somebody says never buy the high, lend the hard way. Yeah, never do that. All right, I think that's what they they they, they teach you, and that's what they always tell you. Oh, this is my account. Okay, this is uh, supposed to be your USD, this is Nasdaq, and let's go with it. Alright, so let's try and see. Um, okay. I hope, I hope we're making sense today. Oh, I'm just playing myself this side. Wow, what's happening, bro? I hope we're getting, I hope we're getting something today, guys. I hope we're getting something today. I hope it's interesting. I hope we're having fun, right? I hope you guys are making sense out of everything that I'm talking about here, all right? Because that's that's that, that's the main thing, right? We come here to analyze. We come here to give each other value, right? Of course, I'm giving you value, but we come here to do that. So hopefully, you're getting um, more of that from this, right? I'm about to end shortly, so ask your questions if you have any. Right, I'm about to just go back to the things I was doing earlier on, and yeah. Yeah, you see that candle on the 15 minutes time frame, right? If this one closes as obviously it's gonna close like this, probably in the next like um, like two minutes, right? If it closes like this, I'll be waiting to see price, you know, cause maybe that's when I can take the buy myself. I'm waiting to see price, with, you know, form support anywhere, right? After price form support anywhere, then maybe I can ride with the buy, okay? To obviously maybe upside. So I could wait for that. Right, we'll see anyway but ideally i'm just i'm just trading fomc today honestly i just want to trade fomc and that's it okay somebody says um rather stick to one pair first yeah just stick to one pair don't trade so many things are you in a position to shed more light on fomc i think i did just guys i'm about to leave this live stream we have a minute to go if not two minutes maybe i'll be like, be like maybe five minutes or something like that. all right yeah stick to one or two pairs maximum three pairs right don't do more than that if you do more than that you probably most likely will not be a profitable trader right and i'm going to tell you that based off personal experience right when you trade so many things you're most likely not going to be profitable all right so just trade a few assets every single time you're trading Did we enjoy today? Did we have fun? Did I shed some light on a couple of things? Did we enjoy today, guys? Oh, so we have a small resistance form here. This candle has weeks on both sides, uh, but most likely can come down to anywhere within the, the week. Form support, then press upside. Most likely. Yeah. And the New York station is almost up in about 30 minutes time. So let's let's see if we can buy this asset even more. Okay, somebody says I had a good time today. Amazing stuff, man. Amazing stuff. We're here for that. We are literally here for that. Lovely station, amazing. Right? Amazing. Where possible, just go watch all the you know. I was looking at this earlier today. Um no. I was looking at this earlier today. This is, I think, what I was looking at. You know, I was looking at this to Toyota Fortuner, right? I think I'm falling in love with this, you know, for an SUV. Just not something, you know, just, you know, to move the kid around, hit, hit, hit the bushes. It's just like twenty, twenty, twenty-one thousand dollars, which is okay. I think roughly thirty, thirty thousand dollars. But the only thing I didn't like about this one is, is one thing. Check out this. Wait, let's see. Okay, the seats look really good. I like the color of the seats, you know. This brown looks really amazing. In my country, everybody drives Toyota, so I should be one of the, the, the people who also. I didn't like the fact that this is a manual transmission. Maybe if it was like automatic transmission, it's got a very good body, right? Very nice body, right? Very, very nice body. I would appreciate if this was like maybe automatic and not really like, you know, manual transmission. You know, yeah, I, I can drive 
manual transmission but i just love my automatic transmission <laughs> you know what engine is in here it's a diesel engine oh okay 2.4 cc oh, okay 20, 2017 model oh, okay oh, amazing stuff five seats why is this five seats i thought it's like maybe six or seven seat or whatever is it all fortune that are five seats is it all I don't know. I was thinking this thing is got like seats in the back. You see that that compartment there? This compartment here? I think I was thinking like maybe it's like seats like you know just come up and maybe drop them or something. You know. This thing has got tips in the back. You guys see the tips here in the back? It's got like these tips here. Mm, interesting. Uh twenty-one thousand uh dollars should be roughly about like how much? It should be roughly five hundred K? Yeah? Yeah, I think so. 500k, maybe like 600k. I think so. Wow. Yeah, this this looks this this is good. I think just for like you know a daily drive, you know, this is good. This is really good. Anyway, somebody says 97% agree with your views. Oh, okay, amazing stuff. Infinity, all right. Just, just get rid of Forex Trader and your name, man. Just get rid of that. But it, it used to be nice back then when it was like 2016, 20, 2015. You know, like adding adding Forex to your name. It used to be fun. Just just get rid of that. You know, just get rid of that. Old model has seven. So maybe the old model is better, right? I dreamt to buy one a couple of days back. Honestly, suits you. Yeah, I could maybe, you know, just, I was taking it out and I think I, you know, fell in love with that. Somebody says, good day, Mr. Nas, learning more and more concepts about forex trading. Amazing stuff, Isaac. Keep on learning. Keep on learning. All right. I'll update you guys when we're going to have the next bootcamp. Okay. I'm going to update you guys when we're going to have the next bootcamp. All right. Look, I'm a dummy too. I have two, this, this mouse here <laughs> and I have, okay, this one, you can't see it. Oh, uh, okay. Let me try and show you guys. And I have this other one too here. Yeah, see this one. So this one has like a, and then I have I have this one too. <laughs> so I'm using both. Like when I, when I feel like okay, you know, let's use this. You see that? <laughs> yeah, man. Oh, crazy. Exit full screen. Let's get rid of Mister Vega here before he sues us. You know, I might get sued after this, guys. Might, might, might really get sued. You know. So I, I have like four minutes. Ask questions, guys. Ask questions. No coincidence. <laughs> oh yeah. Somebody says I learned so much from you. Keep on doing this. Anytime, man. Anytime. Thanks for everything, Nathan. You're doing justice to my understanding. Anytime, man. Anytime, anytime, anytime. Keep on improving. That's what matters. When you are here, improve, right? Just keep on improving. When you are here, just keep on improving. Okay, let's go back here. Man. Let's see. What else do they have here? I think they had like a... Uh, this guy said old model has seven seats. Okay, this one's like 30, 30, 32, 32 grand. 32,000. Oh, okay. Maybe... Um, okay, let's see. Month from... No. What are, what are we trying to do here? Okay, fine. Okay, the black looks good too. I, I don't know. I like my cars in white, right? White is, is it's always been like my favorite. If, if I would buy this car, maybe in the future, I would buy white, man. If I would buy any, any car that I feel like, okay, I want to be comfortable driving, I would definitely buy white. Honestly, I would. All right? I definitely would. All right? So that's like how much is that? That's like um that's like 30 okay, let's say 35 grand. Okay, that's like approximately because I think like taxes and all that up to here should be like maybe like you know, maybe like 30, 32, 33, something like that, maybe. Oh local currency. 
no, I didn't want you to do this. What are you trying to do here? Google just do what I want you to do. What the hell are you trying to do here? What's this? What the hell is this? Someone says, I like today's live stream. Anytime, man, anytime. Okay, let's try and use um, a different one. I don't know why, what's happening here. This is messy, right? Oh, crazy. You see what's happening with, um, with gold? It's retracing. That's like what I said, right? We have a retracement now, which is amazing. Retracement. Right? Based off the 50 minutes time frame, obviously. All right? That's what we have there. So let's see how, how far that goes. If we form support, I might take the trade too. Right, if we form support, I might take the trade because now I have confirmation that this is a strong bullish chart. Oh, okay, 35 grand is like 600 k. Oh, okay, okay, that's 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 reasonable, right? I didn't know that fortune was fortune was like around that much. I thought maybe, maybe it's like a 400, you know, like maybe like 500. Okay, maybe because the model, right? Maybe it's like in 2017 and like 2018 and stuff like that. I don't know. Okay, let's see how a 20, um, let's see how a 20, um, 2023 Fortuna looks like, right? Um, Toyota Fortuna. Okay. It's how you spell this stuff, is it? Is how you spell it? Yeah, I think so. Wow. So much improvement, right? Okay. I don't like the front though. This is just messed up. I think this this goes so well, right? This goes so well. Yeah, I think so. Let's see. Wow. Okay. Six hundred rand. Six hundred thousand rand. Okay, they range from that to like eight hundred eight hundred rand. Eight hundred thousand. Okay. Okay, this looks this looks amazing. Wow. Okay. This is crazy. Okay. I don't know what year this is though. They say 2023, but the other one we're looking at here looks looks crazy. This other one here looks crazy. What is this? This. Oh, 2023 to 2024. Okay. This is like high tech. Okay. It's a family SUV. Amazing stuff. Amazing. Anyway, somebody says, first time checking the car website, the SUV are actually cheap on this side compared to other sites. Yeah, they are, man. They are. They are. These, those were actually cars from, from um, I think, Thailand or something like that. Yeah. A points and peeps calculate the same way? Yeah, but different for different assets. B forward? Nah. B forward. Okay, let's see B forward. You know, B forward is like what, what every Zambian uses for... <laughs> <laughs> to get their car right? right okay let's see let's say toyota um fortune all right 20, 20 let, let's look at 2017 like the one we're looking at there b forward oh b forward b forward is this is how it is it's supposed to be something like that let's see what what they have here Gold still doing its thing in about 15 minutes. I mean, in about five minutes, this cannot be close. So we should see how everything plays out there. And then let's see. This is Euro USD. Okay, still hasn't loaded. Mm. Oh, okay, interesting. Mm. Okay, let's see. Um, Somebody says, how long have you been trading for? I've been trading for about six years now. Yeah, don't be intimidated by that anyway. You could be a profitable trader in one year, in six months, in three months. Well, I was just doing a, a lot of uh, you know, wrong things, a bunch of wrong things. That's why it took so much time. Okay, so this kind of broke above there. Markets continued because of high volume. Yeah, pretty good. Okay, that's okay. And then let's look at US 100. Uh, US 100 looks like it still probably should, should be pushing downside. Yeah, wow, wow. Didn't we just talk about this? Didn't we just talk about this? I think we did, right? 
Yeah, I think we did. Didn't we just talk about this? This was a good trade. Mm, I think at the time we were talking about these markets were around here. Right, this candle just closed. So you probably, if you took that trade, um, if you took that trade, you probably made approximately now currently like an easy 30 points. 30 points is like 3k with a standard load. So you should have made like 3k. Good afternoon, Mr. Nas. What's up, man? What's up? What's up? What's up? Okay, let's look at this now. How do you work? How do you operate this stuff here? Oh, okay. 37,000. Okay. Mm. Okay. 36,000. Let's check out this one. This one looks like it's, it's you know, been pimped a little bit. 47,000 mileage. Wow. This looks like it's been pimped a little bit. You guys see that? Look at the reels. Look like they've been painted or something like that. Oh, okay. Hmm. Okay. Beautiful. This should be 2017 too. Okay. Wow. These are nice seats, man. These are amazing seats. Look at this leather in here. Oh, wow. Look at that. Amazing seats. This is comfort, right? This is, oh, this is actually push to start. Okay. Hmm. Okay, it's a nice steering wheel there. Nice. This is incredible. This is just incredible. This is just incredible. Wow. The other one which we checked out had like, you know, some tips like four, you know, like double tips on, on, on both sides. This one doesn't look like it has that. But I think that's like just, that, that was just like a mode or something like that. All right. Oh, so this whole back. Nah, this stuff has seats there. You guys see that? This stuff ha actually has seats. Though I think you have to bring them down like that. Okay, so it's like one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, seven seater. That's, that, that makes sense. All right. Makes sense, right? It does. All right. And it's a diesel. Oh, okay. Beautiful. Amazing stuff. Anyway. <laughs> Oh, okay. Someone says, uh, what of the range Rover SVR? I don't know. Just go check the sites. How much it is. Somebody says, this looks like a strategy you taught me. Oh, yeah. I think I taught you, Ki, uh, Kabing, Kabinga. You're one of my students. I know that. Mm -hmm. Somebody says, um, does having a good psychology take time? Yeah, it, it takes time, right? But... You know, master yourself, understand yourself, and you can become better in a short, in a short space of time. Um, psychology is tied to risk management, brother. Yeah, facts, facts. Kaya there says that. So that's facts. It's really facts. Guys, we're ending this. I've covered up the eight minutes delay that we took before the you know, live stream started, you know, by doing some stupid stuff, going across cars. <laughs> All right. Okay, this is still not convincing. Maybe if you break here, I take a buy, impulse, impulse to trade, but I'll be waiting for support to form. All right, and in the next 15 minutes, support can form. All right, guys, I'm out of here. Peace out. Hopefully, you had a beautiful trading session today, or rather, a live stream. Just hit the like button. Please do me a favor, right? Hit the like button. Can you do that for me? All right, do me a favor, right? So you can actually, you know, encourage me to come here often. Right, just hit it like bam, 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 bam. Just go hit it. All right, we're back again on Friday. Yeah, definitely, we're back on Friday. Just hit the like button there, all right? Probably after the live stream, go comment on the video, right? After the like, just go drop a comment, right? How do you find it? Okay, I okay, found this. Encourage me to come here more often. <laughs> this, is a, this, is a, this is a free platform, right? So I can just wake up one day and be like, ah, oh, this doesn't even pay me anything. So let me just not do it. So just encourage me by doing that. Just hit the like button anywhere you say it. Or probably after this, just go, you know, comment on this stream. All right, let me see what you have to say about someone says looking forward to Friday. Anytime, Joseph, see you on Friday. Thank you. We'll be with you again on Friday. Anytime, man. Yeah, go hit the like, the, the, the like button, guys. Hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it. And I'll see you guys on a, on a Friday. All right? We'll see you again on a Friday. So have a beautiful time. Be safe. Trade safely. And enjoy a good week. All right? Enjoy that.